everyone, this video is going to be all about applying your foundation. The three main ways of applying your foundation are just your fingers, a brush, or a makeup sponge. I'm going to go through the pros and cons to see like what works for you best. When applying your foundation with your fingers, you just want to wash your hands first to just make it that little more hygienic. What's good about applying your foundation with your hands is that you're going to warm up the product so that it can sink into your skin a lot better. And obviously your, your hands you're always carrying in most cases. But of course, like it gets messy. There's makeup all over your hands. Um, the application isn't always that even. It just, it looks the least professional of the three. Then talking about a brush, you might want to use the right brush. Um, whether it's a dense brush or a not so dense one, it's sometimes easier to, to use a less dense brush just because you can really smear out the product and it gets into every like level pore. I feel like with a brush you get the most coverage out of a foundation um, just because you're not adding anything to it or anything and you can really like build it up whether you use strokes or you just stipple it on. There are so many great techniques to do that. The thing is that I sometimes find with brushes is that it leaves streaks. Like the way you apply it, it'll leave like streaks in that direction. It's just, it's quite annoying. You obviously have to wash your, your brush regularly um, just so that there are not too many bacteria developing in between the bristles. Um, so that you don't break out, you're gonna lose a lot of product um, since you, you use a brush and a lot of the foundation is gonna get into the brush like in between the bristles um, so like th there's a lot of waste then on the other side like once you wash it regularly it's quite hygienic and you can really buff it into the skin you know you can use circular motions and then use it in a different direction use streaks things like that um or you can really get it into the skin and kind of make it melt kind of create a second layer of skin there then lastly with a sponge um there are a few different ways that you can use it um it's usually used damp like you soak it in water and then you squish it out so that it's damp. Um, that way it's not going to soak up too much product because if you just use a dry sponge it's going to soak up all your foundation and it's not really going to get under your skin. And just make sure that it is soft enough. I've had sponges like in history where they were like really rough and, and not soft enough and you're just you're just pounding a stone onto your skin that's it's like really uncomfortable. <laughs> And the thing is, you don't want to rub the sponge onto your um, skin. You really want to bounce and like really push the product into the skin, you know? Obviously with the sponge, you also want to wash it regularly so it stays hygienic. It's not as easy to wash as a brush or your hands because um, there's like product that's really soaked in there so it's kind of hard to get it out. Um, but it really, it's really important that you do just to make your face not break out all the time. It soaks up quite a bit of product. Um, so there's again, a lot of product that you're wasting. The main reason why people have to get um, a new sponge to use is that they break. Um, it's, it's really just made to like bounce and just squeeze things out. It's not made to like rub things. Um, so when you clean it like in the beginning, I used to clean my sponges just by rubbing it onto soap, which is not to be done. Um, yeah, just the material that it's made out of, it, it kind of breaks when you start rubbing things. Not right away, but like you'll see these little cracks forming. As soon as that happens, you know that it's, it's only going to get worse. Then because there is water in the sponge, it's kind of going to dilute your foundation so it's gonna get a little bit more sheer not not a lot not that you can actually like really see it clearly or anything um but you'll notice a difference whether you apply it with a sponge or with a brush a sponge mainly causes like an 
evil application just because you can found it everywhere and it just it's something that you push into the skin you don't really rub it anywhere and it cannot really clean that much to like dry areas and things like that lastly the great thing that i feel like only a sponge does is it layers really well so i mean if you have a foundation that's like a bit too sheer or you prefer like a little bit more coverage or you really like the finish or whatever it's cheap things like that happen um i feel like it's really easy to just layer things like just go in with the second layer of, of your foundation it's not really going to disturb anything as opposed to a brush where you can just you really need to buff that into the skin you know and it, it's always going to move product so that's it for applying foundation i hope it was useful and thank you for watching i'll see you later bye